What's up Amazon champions? In this video, I'm going to teach you the difference between revenue and profit, all right? I feel like a lot of people misunderstand this concept and principle of what is revenue and what is profit and how much am I actually making while selling on Amazon, okay? So for this example, I'm going to use iPhone cases as the product to help me know how profitable I actually am, okay? So I'm gonna teach you guys basically how to go in and decipher whether or not it's a good profitable product that you should pursue after and you should make your first order because I can't tell you how important this is. You can order products and if your seller fees, your marketing, the cost of the product is more than what the product actually costs, then why waste your time trying to sell a product that you're not making any money, okay? So I'm gonna dive right into it and I'm on Amazon and I searched iPhone cases, then I'm gonna go over to the Chrome extension and this is where I feel like a lot of people misunderstand what revenue means so a lot of people, I feel like they go here and they're like, oh my goodness, this guy is making $130,000 a month. That is unreal. I want to sell this product. He's making $130,000 a month. That is, that is crazy. But I don't want to say that this is a bad product, but it's not $130,000 to his bank account. That is just revenue. So for example, if I sell... 150 units that of an iPhone case that cost $10, my revenue is $1,500. Okay, so that is not profit that goes to my bank account. That is just revenue. And then you have to subtract the seller fees, the cost of the product, the marketing, and so on and so forth to then get your profit. So I'm going to show you guys how you guys can double check whether or not your product is profitable and see where your margins are at. All right, so now that we're in the fulfillment Amazon revenue calculator, I'm going to show you how you can use this tool to help you decipher whether or not this is a good profitable product that you should sell. Okay, so we're going to dive right into it. iPhone case, I'm going to search it. And it's going to pull up with a list of different iPhone cases and I'm going to select the one that's as close as the one that I'm going to sell. So it's close to the otter box and it comes right here. It shows the product dimensions and the unit weight and that's for Amazon to know how much the fees are going to cost for them to ship it and fulfill the order. All right, so then you go down right here and then you put down the item price. So how much are you selling the iPhone case for? So I'm gonna be selling it for $12. Then I go down right here and I enter in the cost of the product. So this is how much does the product, product itself cost? How much does the packaging and labeling cost? How much does it cost to ship the product? And how much does it cost for the labor to get it to the Amazon warehouse? So in total, it's gonna be about $3 for that product to get to the Amazon warehouse. Then I'm going to hit calculate. And I'm gonna move myself right up here. And as you can see, we have revenue, cost, seller proceeds, and the net profit. And as you can see, the revenue is $12 because if you sell one unit, that is $12 in revenue. That is not profit. Then we have the cost, which is the fulfillment cost, plus the selling on Amazon fees, plus the cost of goods, which is $8. And if you subtract 12 minus $8.03, your net profit is $3.97, which is a net profit margin of about 33%. So this does not take into account PPC campaigns or marketing or Facebook ads, Instagram ads, however you are getting people to buy the product, that does not calculate this. So if I'm spending $2 to acquire a customer, then I'm only making $1.97. Does that make sense? So we need to be very careful that we are making sure that we are, we are selling a profitable product. So 3.97 minus two is $1.97. And if that ha that's how much cost that's how much it costs every time I sell a unit, I make about two dollars. 
for me to make $2,000 for that month, I would have to sell, so 2,000 divided by $1.97. I would have to sell 1,000 units, 1,015 units, for me to make a net profit of $2,000. Okay, so this could be different with the net profit. I'm just saying that sometimes the PPC campaign to acquire one customer could be $2, it could be 50 cents, it could be $1, or it could be zero, depending on the product that you are selling. So I just want you guys to make sure that you understand the difference between revenue and net profit and make sure that you take into account all of these fees, the marketing, how much it's going to cost to market the product, label it, do everything necessary to get it to the Amazon warehouse and make sure that when you sell your products, you are making money. That is very important and that is a key to success in Amazon FBA and I hope that I was clear in this video and I hope that you learned something and that you can take this information and apply it into your own Amazon FBA business. So thanks for watching. If you liked it, leave a thumbs up, subscribe. I'm going to be dropping daily videos of how you can create a successful Amazon business. So thanks for watching guys and we will see you in the next video.